but you know, what do you expect from a nasty ass fellow that likes to do things? Mm-hmm. Ghetto trash. Yeah. Just ghetto, ghetto, ghetto trash. Why don't you tell her to turn her camera on and face her bodies? I bet you you'd find a lot of lies just by her body language on camera. Maybe that's why she turns her camera off so much. Either way, it doesn't matter. This is just going to give her a name, reason to put my name in her title to get another 10,000 views. She can never be me. She can never be me. And they're both trash. Shame on both of them. Shame on both of them. Um, or, but, you know, tells people and makes a big stink and, and selective outrage over pictures of a, a young boy named Gannon Stout. And yet steals those photos and passes them around on her Discord. I mean, what do we expect from a woman like that, right? What do we expect from a piece of shit like that? It sounds like all she's about is the money. She Just as long as nobody else is making money and she's making the money. That's all she cares about. She showed that to me. She didn't care about this father. She didn't care about this case. She didn't care about the victim. And she made a profit. If that's not tragedy, then I don't know what it is. So welcome to the Hall of Fame, bitch. You made it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey guys, clap. Clap. Come on, let's clap it out for them. I mean, just when you don't think that dirtbags can get lower, they, they stoop to a, a another level of mud. I mean, she's been waiting for it, right? She can't make her own fucking content, right? Don't know how to do that. Has to steal everybody else's and has to complain about it because she has nothing. She has nothing to give. She's got no no education. She's got no smarts. She's got no book smarts. She's got literally nothing but hot air filled with a whole bunch of pot up here, right? Light them up if you got one. Light them up if you got one. They suck. I thought that was awful. That was so tacky. That was so white trash. That was so ghetto. That was so ghetto. What do you expect from people that sling drugs and do shit like that, right? I don't know. What can I say? What can I say? I guess sue me, bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm already suing you. Okay. Um, well, um, life fast. I- you can take a hike. I really don't care. Like, you do matter nothing to me. If you got hit by a bus tomorrow, I would not care. And they can clip that and take that to the bank. Oh, my God. Betty doesn't care. I don't have to care. I don't know you. See how easy that is? And guess what? I'm going to sleep just fine tonight. I'm going to sleep better dreaming about a bus sitting you. Just saying. Even understand. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be going for copyright after this. <laughs> she hasn't quite stealing from me yet. <laughs> Seventy thousand dollars is not going to last her. I can promise you that. And um, they can click that, and, and her attorney can run to the thick. Yeah, you know they're trying to tackle on me now, saying, "Oh my God, Betty says she's going to come here and file this." Yeah, you're damn right. You're damn right because I have a right to protect myself. Period. That's what the law is there for. So, Brian River, build a bridge. Good, good luck. Good luck. Our day, until this shit stops, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. She's, so, she's an uneducated woman. You guys understand this lady could not even get a job at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> you know? She couldn't even get the job, like a job at a 7-Eleven. At least Dolly could get a job at the 7-Eleven. I'm just saying. Not talking employees at the 7-Eleven. I'm just saying. You know? I know a woman that started out at McDonald's and became the freaking CEO, not the CEO, but like uh, ended up owning one of her own, her own McDonald's, making millions of dollars a year. You know? Oh, I, honey, I, I used to work with multi-million dollars. I, 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 I can pass FBI level two background checks. If you haven't noticed, I've had an insurance license that I can, I can redo. I have a real estate license I can redo. Both require an FBI background check. I doubt this lady here could ever pass that. She will never be able to hold, hold an actual license of anything with her background. Dolly has some low class bunch, Betty. They are. I don't know what, you know, I mean, but we expected it from the, the nasty lady. You know, we expected it from her, right? I really don't care if something hard hits your head. You don't do that. Maybe you need something to knock some sense into you. That's just awful. Nobody can say I've ever done no, no crap like that. Not one person on here can ever say that. I have never stolen any content from somebody that is that literally their kid for profit. Not one person can ever say that because I create my own content, whole person. And for the, the assholes that want to come in here and tell me about myself, you guys can go take a hike because you'll never tell me about myself. I'm too bougie and too good for you. I'm too good for you. We want you guys to go back on the other side of the train tracks. You know, the eight mile, get it? Get it? It's disgusting. It, it, it angered me. I wouldn't even do this live. Like right now I should be in bed. I'm leaving for Miami tomorrow because I work. I don't sit home and bitch all day. I actually have to get up and go to work because I create content. 
I create content, I work my ass off, you know, getting on these things, people knowing my name, it's not easy. They knew my name long before I became full one back. It's because I work my ass off for my county. I work my ass off for my state, all free of charge, by the way. I work my ass off for my United States of America, all free of charge. And then I take all of this and I try to give back to families. Again, free of charge. Free of charge. And I use these channels for funding to be able to do it. And meanwhile, you got people that are sitting here smoking so much damn pot, they can't even think straight. Stealing a victim's father's life that was not monetized for profit. So you know what? When we monetize Seth's account, which I hope he does get monetized. I hope that this live gave him his monetization. I hope he is able to monetize because if anybody could use the money to support his son and his advocation for his son, it's Seth. And I can tell you when I was there, he had signs. He had um, the wristbands. He had bags of wristbands. And he's saying those wristbands are gone. He's been going overtime getting those wristbands out. He had boxes of flyers. He's out of flyers. He's given those flyers away. People have posted those flyers. I know how many flyers I posted. That stuff doesn't cost, that stuff costs a lot of money. Those yard signs are expensive. Did you see how big they are? They're not the little, the little, you know, five, ten dollar yard signs. These are big yard signs. Big yard signs. Yeah, he doesn't do it for the money. He needs the money for the what is he supposed to do? These people, I, I'm not even going to get into it. I'm, I've already spoke my piece. I think they're both freaking ghetto as shit. I hope they take their shit back to the trailer park. That's where they belong. And you know what? Take a hike. And I hope karma bites you in your ass. I hope karma bites you slap in your ass because both of you motherfuckers deserve it. Excuse my language. Pray for me on Sunday. Sunday. It is not easy to sit up on the panel and make fun of people hiding behind an emoji when nobody gets to see your fat ass face with a freaking big ass nut, nasty nut, nut on the front of it that you put there. I bet you probably would lose half of your freaking subscribers if they saw your panel face to face. Because people do judge people. I'm sorry, they do. So, and by tomorrow, you know, a lot of other channels are going to be running it and putting their commentary on it. And, oh, they really meant to say this. And how could he say that about his child? And all this other stuff. You're probably smoking dope with your child. So what does it really matter at this point? What people's opinions of Seth is? Half the people that have an opinion of it probably have their own kids sitting in the freaking cleaver. Like, these ghetto people, I'm just, I'm tired of them. I'm literally tired of them. Take your shit back to the trailer park. Leave me that alone. I've moved my channel out of this crap. We're we'll keep moving over. We're gonna keep moving over. We're we'll gonna keep moving over until we are so far separated from the trauma drama bullshit that, that we don't. We we are like who? Who is that? I don't, I don't recognize that name. You know? <laughs> who are these people? Right? We're gonna be talking about a whole different caliber. We're gonna be talking about Jennifer Coffin Dapper and 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 Judy. Ron. I'm sick of these these other these other crap channels. These are uneducated educated people with a opinion and a microphone it truly is that there's only good there's only a few good content creators that actually do the work to create their own content not just sit there and complain about other people's work <laughs> that's pretty bad if you're complaining about other people's work and you've never produced any of your own work at all hmm. that's a big look over there so you're not looking over here situation if you ask me <laughs> anybody ever asked how many times she's ever gotten anything right she's got nothing right um has anybody asked where she has ever had has she ever helped i mean she She's always talking about tragedy, so she seems to always be covering tragedies for profit. Interesting. Does that make her a tragedy? I keep, I keep asking that. And it seems like she's allowed to make profit off tragedies, but, you know, what do you expect from a nasty-ass fellow that likes to do things? Mm-hmm.